How's it going guys? It's Wow Shoot and welcome back to another Swansea City Crew Thank you very much for joining me and today we've got an absolutely cracking episode. We've got three games, the transfer window opens and uh, there's going to be big, big stuff. Who should we sign? Should we try and sign anyone or should we just kind of focus on our youth? Which is kind of what we do this episode. We want to focus on our youth. Kinley, we look to bring into the side as well because he's like, boss, I want to play. I want to play. And I'm quite happy with my two left backs. Do I risk it and then think, oh, you know what? Let's give this guy a go. We've, we've put him up against West Brom. But make sure you hit that like button, guys. Got plenty coming this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter while shining your street. And we're going to cross on over live to the gameplay highlights right now with the one and only Griffiths. He's going to be commentating on today's match. Oh, go on, son. It was absolutely despicable. Oh. Pulowski. Shoot. Oh, what a goal. What a goal from the striker of Swansea City. Makes it 1-0 in front of the Swansea City fans. Uh, right on the shock of halftime, you can say. And uh, it was a dodgy passing from the West Brom team. Wins it here, gets past one, and look at that, straight across the face of goal, into the top left hand corner. What a finish from the striker. Oh, he tripped over his flipping ankles. Get up, kid. Oh, dodgy passing again. It's dodgy pass. Oh, oh, Montero, he's get back on it. He shoots. Oh, what a save by the goalkeeper. Similar mistake to the first goal. Still one. Oh my god, he <laughs> left his head like a rocket. Oh, that was unbelievable. Williams, I think that was. Look at this. He got left for space and boom. I have never scored a header like that before. I have never, ever scored a header like that. That was absolutely brilliant from Williams. Oh, come on. Oh, lovely play. Lovely play. I want the youth guy to make a run. Sigurdsson making a run in. And this could be free. And it is. It's 3 nil. 77 minutes have gone. Brilliant. Dominating the game. An assist from our youth guy who will be playing. He has got to have a good position. I think when he develops more, he will have um, very good, uh, what do you call it, uh, sprint speed, hopefully. Um, because that's what he lacked there. But anyway, 3 nil. There it is. We have won. Uh, we have beaten West Bromwich Albion 3-0 with 10 men for the final 10, 5 minutes or so. But very dominant force. You have to say the moment we came out in our second half. Controlled the game very well. And I say our youth players that we had up today, uh, Kinsley and our right mid, uh, Bo Boss Fern, I think his name is, played brilliantly, without a doubt. And an assist from one great defender from the other. Without a doubt, quality game. We move on to Crystal Palace. So we took the risk. We put two youth players on with Kinley. We got Bates going on in the background. He's now 65 rated. He could be a 70 before next season. But we put two youth players on, which has put us up in second place now. Level points for Spurs, one point behind Chelsea. But we took that risk and it turned out to be pretty well. So I'm hoping we can kind of carry on this form of uh, only changing the side little bits at a time. We started off the season quite difficult. It wasn't exactly the most brilliant start to the season, but now we are finding our mojo. So that's kind of the big one there. John Stones, could he be joining Swansea City? Could he be joining Swansea City? Should he? Let's be honest. O'Para and Williams are the best partnership in the Premier League at the moment. Only conceding eight goals this season so far. Kept another clean sheet then. Can we keep another clean sheet this game? But Len, we're going to have a look at statistics next episode. We're going to do it in the training one. And next tomorrow's episode, we're going to have a look at statistics for the league, which is absolutely massive because we are doing so well at the moment. But anyway, let's cross over live to the Crystal Palace versus Swansea City game at Soho's Park. Guys, enjoy the video. Ayo to Griffiths. Down to Ayo again. Lovely play. Gomez is in the box. Volley. Oh, what a save on the goalkeeper. Absolutely amazing. I think Griffiths was on the end of that. He was, but what a save from Hennessy. Clare inside. Over the top to Gomez. Gomez is now on it. Oh, this is beautiful. This is... Oh, he's flopped it in the 21st minute. Unbelievable. Inside. 
Through ball at Griffiths. Griffiths down the wing now. Oh, lovely bit of play. Lovely bit of play. Didn't get it. Shoot. Coming in late. Yes, it's Gomez with the goal. 67 minutes has gone. We put the through ball down to Griffiths. He does a little bit of skills. And he paid his bills for this month. And he shoots. It was blocked by the defender. And a little side tap in by Gomez to make it 1-0 against Crystal Palace. Well, with that, I'm not surprised we scored. Been quite a dominant game, but controlled game by us. Oh, here we go. Good play. Can Griffiths get a goal today? Can he get a goal? He's not He's not going to be greedy as Angel Rangel. <laughs> An assist for Griffiths. He could have got himself another goal, but he wasn't greedy at all. He squinted across to Angel Rangel. Coming back after not playing for a little while to make it 2-0 for Swansea City in the 77th minute against Crystal Palace. Oh, we've won. We've won. So I actually skipped it. We've beaten Crystal Palace. Uh, what was the score? I think it was 2-0. Absolutely dominant game. They, they did absolutely nothing. They had one shot. You saw that in the first half. We had five. Quite a low shot game. But uh, goals. Gomez and Angel Rangel and Griffiths got getting the one assist. Technically, he had two with the shot. And it went to Gomez. But without a doubt... Absolute quality game, dominant throughout. Dominant game, it was controlled, we dominated. But anyway, you play once out, so I'm kind of going to have a look to see if I actually want him in my side before he goes, see if we can offer him a contract. Angel Rangel wants to leave the team. I did see that. He is unhappy. Uh, to be fair, we played him last game, and he scored. So, like, that is a bit weird. But... We do play Newton quite a bit, or Norton. We do play him quite a bit. And to be fair, I'm happy enough to even risk, like, trying to look for a new youth player and put him there. Because if I'm honest, we have got... I'm loving this youth thing that we've got going on at the moment that I consider bringing in. But, of course, the transfer window is open. We've got a lot of youth players coming in. A goalkeeper looking to sign as well. And speaking of goalkeepers, we are looking to sign this guy, Donnarumma. I put an offer in for him. I'm going to switch him straight of Fabianski. I'm going to see if they'll go for the bait. <laughs> I'm going to see if they'll go for the bait of Fabianski. He is worth around 5 million Fabianski is. So I'm kind of hoping that they will go actually. We will accept him just because he's like 78 rated. He's 26 years old. Um, 30 years old even. And he's worth 5 million. So they might actually sign him. So Hopefully that deal goes through because this guy's 16 years old, 73 rated, and he could easily come straight into the side. We could then grow this guy, let him loan him out, essentially, use back Jack Butlin, cash out on Jack Butlin, and then get this guy into the starting 11 in a season or two or something like that. But anyway, Swan City versus Ackle and Stanley. Who are they exactly? We're playing ours in the FA Cup. It's the first round for us in the FA Cup at the moment. We have not played an FA Cup match, but we are in the semi-finals, which you, which you will see next episode or the episode after, if good, I'm correct. Good, good, Down the line now, just Griffiths, who's coming in the box. Let's find out. On the edge. Is a, no, it's a bicycle kick from... I don't know who that is. That might be key. It is a bicycle kick. What a goal. What a play. Ackle and Stanley, who are they? We score with a, a bicycle kick into the ground, up off the bar, and a rugby tackle from the offence. Defence. Cheeky. Monreal. Kia Sung. Norton. Into Griffiths. Shoot, scores. What a goal. Lovely play. Honestly, this is such a nice game to play. It's just... Slow, chill, pass it round. We, they lead too. We're going to dominate. But it's kind of like we can experiment with our passing game a little more. Kingsley. Whips it in. Oh, oh no, it's an own goal. But I'll take that anyway. <laughs> I'll take that. It won't count as is. But what a cross. And it came off the defender. And straight into the back. And what a cross on Kingsley. Can, does that count as an assist? It could. It could do, but there's no goal. It's evil goals in the FA Cup. Oh, inside. Oh, that's beautiful. That was beautiful. Our youth player that we've just brought on as a substitute scores either a very lucky goal or an exquisite goal. It's one or the other. 
Lovely ball inside. Look at that. I think that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at... Oh, mate. I love players who are not high rated because you can literally power it all. Oh, I love... What a goal. That could be goal of the week for goals on Sunday. Apologies, it wasn't one yesterday. Oh. There it is. We've beaten Atlan Sandy 4-0. No surprise whatsoever. But we play quite a lot of youth players today. We had a couple of them scoring. Let's just jump straight to these statistics a second. We had a lot of players score goals. We had a uh, key score goal. Uh, Griffith scored. He's kind of a youth player. But uh, Inge Bristol, he scored a goal as well. And, of course, the own goal. So, the youth team did very well. Kingsley got himself an assist as well on the own goal. I don't know if they will actually count that. They won't count that, unfortunately. But, without a doubt, absolutely brilliant from a solid performance. Not bad youth team so far. Developing very nicely. And that is the end of this episode, guys. What a result against um, Atlan Stanley, you can say, with our 4-0 win. With the youth team, I think that's the most impressive thing, is that the fact that our youth team was out on this. So I'm quite chuffed at that. And of course, didn't show the league table last time. We went top of the league, joint top and goal difference. So Chelsea did end up losing again by the looks. But Spurs are right on our tail. So hope you all did enjoy and uh, make sure you smash that like button, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends up on Twitter. And tomorrow we do have a training mode. So I'm going to be training a few players, a few different ones, to who we've been kind of going as. Maybe a few more youth players that we're looking at. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Welsh. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Welsh and Yeshi.